Four, look at the store or something like that. We just got a massive blog post. Check out the video on that. Also, um, the it was confirmed that the 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 fifteens that are in the with the covert arf in the military blitz. What's this called? A military blitz event that's currently running right now. It, they're going to get four per orb, so I'm expecting to get twenty four over the course of this event by maxing out the event, which is not a lot. The question came up today is, did you complete your military milestones? Okay, so 61 people said yes. 61% of the people said yes. Um, I did. It. I had to do about six rotations. However, I also was doing the sim blitz, you know, with the 500 that I had over the extra over currency. But in this today, I won't have that, right? So... We'll see, right? We'll see. It didn't seem as hard, but I was able to use Captain Marvel uh, quite heavily in U7, and I think that helped out a lot. I also just took a team in and a full military team and just went in at the end, like on the on the late part of Ultimate 7.5 and hit auto. So I don't know if that really counts. You know, you have to kind of game it a little bit. You almost It's almost incentivizing you to lose. All right, so we got offer review. Over under is... Uh, I don't know. I th it's pretty low today. What do we got here? Let's see if we got the over under. I'll put it up on the screen. Oh, at four bucks, 45% under four bucks, 55% over four bucks. We're getting pretty balanced on these numbers now. Okay. Into the shadow orb offer. You know, at best, I value these orbs at $3 a piece. And because she is a blitz character and I am a dirty blitzer, I would not even consider these orbs until I get through the second blitz. So we're in the first blitz right now. The second blitz will start on Thursday. And at the end of that blitz would be the first time I consider buying these orbs. I do want to get her to five stars. Also, no word on how Bishop is going to be unlocked. The general thinking is that he's probably going to be a milestone character of some kind. Maybe like replace Emma. Emma milestone. I don't know. I have no idea. We'll see. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with six star orbs, whether I'm going to dump them into Bishop or Jubilee. We're going to have to find out. It's something we're talking about. I got keys in my pocket. That makes this kind of hard. That's what, never mind. Um, let's go through it. Um, what do you got? ISO eight level three crystal set offer. Save over 30% and get a fully crafted set of level three crystals. One for the each following traits. All right. Um, I, I don't know how to say this. I really, really, really don't need ISO 8. I need ions. I, I don't think I, I don't get this. I don't get this. Um, I don't I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on this. I just don't get it. Um, fully crafted does mean that you save ions. Um, I hate to not have an answer on this. I, I have to do some research on this. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting this to be here today. Uh, my gut is that is not worth it. But the advantage to this is maybe is that yes, you do get level three and they're fully crafted. So you don't have to spend the ions to equip them, but I'm not sure. I really am not sure. Um, level four would be of interest. Level five would be of interest. Level three doesn't really get you that far. It's kind of, at least on my roster, level three is kind of baseline. Level four is like, oh, I'm interested. Level five is like my arena team. You know what I mean? Um, hmm. Tune in tomorrow. I'm not sure. I, I, I want to, my gut says no, but I'm not sure. I, I will get back to you on this one. Uh, I will, but I, gut is no. Okay. Advanced tech gear offer. Uh, at best, I think purple gear is worth 10 cents a piece. So there is some opportunity here because technically, if you need two of these three, that does add up to that 10 cents price. But typically, you need more of the spiky ball, spiky balls. That's what she and uh, the blow torches. Uh, boy, and you know, you rarely need these advanced particle charges. <laughs> so people might be buying it just for these two. Now, I do not buy purple gear currently, and if you do buy purple gear. You know, you'll, you'll get, probably you need these two and not this one right here. And that technically comes into that 10 cents per, uh, <laughs> per, per uh, purple gear piece. Let's move on. Oh my God. Uh, we talked about that. This would make sense to me maybe 
if this was an Elite 5, but this is an Elite 4. Elite 4s at best have uh, $20 of value, and I don't really have a lot of value for ISO 8. Uh, I do have a, a need for Ions, but let's move on. Exclusive Orb Offer. Nope, not buying ISO 8. Okay, so I guess this will help you if you really want to push on the Kitty Pride, but I don't get it. Blitz harder, my goodness. I mean, if, if you're already doing eight rotations a day and you really want to, I just don't buy this stuff, man. This has about a dollar and a dollar and a half value, maybe. So, you know, I don't know. I, I would never buy this. Let's move on. Uh, uncanny or bundle. Um, I don't like these, these packs because they sometimes don't give a lot of character shards and you don't get to pick the ones you want. I understand why they're trying to sell this, though. They're, you know, this is kind of to finish off a Magneto team, something like that. Typically, what confuses me about this is normally they'll do something like this for um, like Phoenix event. Phoenix is happening on Monday, right? And they'll do something with Villain Mystic controllers in these packs. And it's definitely more of like a desperation, last, last hurrah to get a legendary character. Not a fan of these orbs in these packs. Let's move on. Premium ISO 8 offer. Again, I'm not in the market for ISO 8. I am in the market for Ions. Ions so far have you know, saved 10%. Maybe one day they will have like 11 or 12% off. I've bought this in the past, I'm not, I'm not, but it's not a good value. Let's move on. And plus, you know, like like Thanos, like, you know, like I have Raider on Thanos and now I, I've seen situations where Healer would have been good on Thanos. I've seen, and now more than ever, people are, are pivoting to Striker on Thanos. I've got a level five. You, how much, how many ions does that cost to switch? I kind of toggle between Striker and Healer on Emma. Anyways, ions, ions, exclusive training offer. At best, training orbs are worth two bucks a piece, eight bucks, maybe another three bucks, $11, does that add up to 20 bucks. Let's move on. Premium orb pack. At best, premium orbs are one buck a piece. Kingpin orbs worth one buck a piece. So a total value of $5 for 10 bucks. Not gonna buy it. Endless energy bundle. This is only good if you're pushing to get up uh, through the levels or right now we have some double character shards check the events miles events tab and see if there's any double drops running right now uh, That's really the only reason it you some people take advantage of this to get up to level 80 Some people take advantage of this when there's double drops of some kind, but typically this is not a good value. Let's move on Orb draft. Okay, so this has got the watermelon colored one, which is bad watermelon bad that's all you have to remember on this. This is the one to not buy. Premium orb, $1 a piece. Gold orb, $2 a piece. Ability orb, 10 cents. And that's why we don't buy this. 14 basic orbs, sure is worth a buck. Let's move on. War consumables bundle, pack of shame. Do not buy the pack of shame. Uh, blitz harder and you won't need to buy this. That's all I'm trying to say. Ultimate orb frenzy offer. There's nothing ultimate about this. At best, we've got uh, gold orbs, $2 a piece, which is 12 bucks. Premium orbs, $1 a piece, which is $6. So that adds up to $18. You know what would be interesting is that they did, like, which I would have a hard time with, is if it was like six gold orbs and six training material orbs. Then and that would be at least a $24 value for 25 bucks. What if it was that? Put in the comment section if you would buy it. 12k probably not but at least it would be worth considering at least we're talking about like if it was instead of these premium orbs it had training materials so you got gold and training materials i bet you that would sell i gotta tell you whales don't need these premium orbs but we but the whales do need gold and training materials i'm telling you they don't need these premium orbs if they buy this this is going this is just garbage ultimus food i don't I, i'm helping them make money so all right let's move on Super savings trash. Don't buy this. My goodness. Get an alliance that takes ratings seriously. If they, if, if you really need purple materials, wait till they sell this for like a buck or something. Not 20 bucks. That's horrible. All the rest of this is trash. All of it's garbage. Say it together with me. One, two, three, trash. Let's go to the free-to-play account where I have different offers. We've got Hawkeye. Um, at best, this right here. Kitty cat. Um, here, here we've got, um, that's worth about a buck. So for $4, you get 45 Hawkeye shards. Um, Tano, Tano was, uh, made a video about beginner guide and he updated his beginner guide and actually, uh, the current recommendation, it makes sense to me, although I haven't done a lot of research on it is, uh, early game wave one Avengers has high value. Hawkeye is high value early game. Just saying, anyways, let's move on. That's a reasonable offer. If you need Hawkeye, uh, no, we're going to skip over all the duplicate offers and only look at, uh, the main offers. Now 
This is interesting. Loki. Loki helps you with Phoenix, which is on Monday. Loki also helps you with Black Bolt. And then Black Bolt helps you with Ebony Ma. So if uh, you know if you don't have a Loki at six stars yet and you have the other villain mixture, probably the main choke point for most people is gonna be Hella rather than Loki. Uh, and the thing about that Phoenix event is you can definitely uh, go more into Phoenix and Hella as far as gear. And the rest of the characters, you know, you, maybe you could put a little bit of Mordo, put a little bit of Ronin, but you really can neglect the fifth, which should be Nobu or Hand Assassin, just not you. Oh my goodness, Kitty. Kitties are playing with my feet behind the green screen. Oh my goodness. My cats are having a blast today. Anyways, let's move on. Hey, do what you got to do, but uh, Loki is uh, relatively easy to get. Let's move on. Uh, there you go, Ronin. See, this is these 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 right here are just a function. These are strictly a function of Phoenix event starting on Monday. One of the best characters in the game, still one of the best characters in the game. A lot of people are saying, "Oh, Jubilee for for Mutant and Dark Dimension 4." I don't know how uh, uh, Phoenix is going to be worse than Jubilee. We'll have to see, but it looks like Phoenix is just so important. Six villain mystic controllers and there's a doom is one of course but never mind everybody's oh use doom yeah right you have phoenix unlock if you have doom believe me um we got hella loki ronin mordo and then the two ones that you don't really need to upgrade much which are the trash ones nobu and hand assassin you don't really need to upgrade them you can upgrade the other four my suggestion is to focus on hella and then loki and then the rest of them you can just kind of let them do their own thing all right um Sorcerer Supreme offer. I don't see the need to buy this. He's not um, He's not gonna advance you towards a legendary character. In a lot of ways this game is about collecting legendaries or at least working towards legendaries. He doesn't help you with that. He's fine, but I, I don't see the need to rush to get him uh, like these other characters we've talked about so far that let you get a legendary character. Let's move on. Candy or bundle, we talked about that. Ugh. Do what you gotta do. Hella. Greg, Phoenix, Ebony Ma, Black Bolt. Those are all great characters and everything is, is kind of funneled through Hela. You know, this is probably one of the main focuses mid game is Hela. I, I don't think this is a good value, 50 for $30, but Hela on her own is amazing. She helps you get Phoenix. She helps you get Black Bolt, and then Black Bolt helps you get Ebony Ma. Anyways, we'll leave it at that. I've talked about this character quite a bit. She is probably uh, the main focus for mid-game players. Absolutely. She's quite good. Heimdall's is not that important. I mean, you will, yes, you do need him to get to Black Bolt, but, uh, you know, we're going into this hybrid Alliance War meta. I can totally see... Heimdall getting dropped off of the team and replaced by somebody else going forward. I just see hybrid teams being a thing in the future in Alliance War. And, you know, the, the, the primary characters on the teams will get used. And the primary characters, the primary core of an Asgardian team is going to be Hela, Loki, and Thor. And then, then the kind of the backup players are going to be Heimdall and Sif. Sif's okay, but, you know, not that great. But anyways, let's go with no read it. Uh, again, I don't see a reason to buy this. Uh, Ghost Rider doesn't lead you to a legendary. Yes, he's a good character, but I struggle enough. Um, I, I just want to say this. I, I recommend the Hella pack three or four times more than I recommend the Ghost Rider pack. So I don't see the point in buying this, frankly, at that price. Just Unless you're just one of those people that buy every single pack, which I don't recommend. Anyways, this, this is the Dark Sorcerer Orb. So here are the, the Jokers that are can be used to uh, unlock Phoenix, do what you got to do on this. Yeah, anyways, this is kind of like a last ditch Hail Mary to get Phoenix on Monday uh, offers. Um, not a fan of it. Let's move on. Let's move on. I think we did it there for offer review. Uh, how are you guys feeling about, how are you guys feeling about uh, the new Jubilee and Bishop? I. Bishop looks really interesting to me. Really interesting to me in Jubilee. Doesn't she looks pretty good too? I I, I can't. I can't. Of course, I haven't had a chance to play them, so how can I know? But uh, hopefully, we can get him and play him soon. I'm gonna guess mid January. Mid January maybe for Jubilee. It's hard to say. We looked at the calendar. We couldn't 
pick it out exactly, but we'll see. All right, guys, as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Bye. I said mid-February. Mid-February. Mid-February for Jan Jubilee. Not January. Mid-February.